Hey, have you ever wondered how to add a logo to your webcam for a video meeting? Well, in this tutorial, using Lens Studio and Snap Camera, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So let's get started. You'll see here I've got Lens Studio open. Uh, you'll need to download that. It's a free program. There's a link in the description. Uh, and then you also need a Snap Camera as well. So I've got, you'll also need a logo file. So I've got a logo file here. So I'm just going to go here in Lens Studio and do New Project. Okay, so now that my project's open here, let's go ahead and uh, add the object we need in order to uh, create the logo. But before I do that, actually, I wanted to show you around a few things. Depending on your system, it, the Lens Studio may open up a little bit different. Uh, you may have a different camera than you want selected. And so in order to change that here on this preview panel, you can just select your specific camera. I have my Blackmagic A10 uh, selected there. That has my camera feed in, and then you can see me there. And now we're going to add an object. So we go over here to Objects. We're going to add a screen image. And so that'll get dropped in just like that. Now, as this loads in that screen image, you'll be able to see a couple things. You can see it adds some assets here, some objects rather, and then under this inspector column, there's actually this image item, and in that is a texture that's selected. So you can actually select, you click that, and it'll open up this option to add something. So there's a plus up here, you can add something. You can also just drag something into it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag my logo in, and it automatically checks it for you there. OK, and so now that is over top of my webcam image as a layer. And then I can just resize it. And it does a nice job scaling it the way you would expect. Better than you would expect, actually. And then I can reposition it. So again, this is, a, this is just an example. Um, but if you wanted to put that, you know, maybe down here. So once you have that in a position that you like, um, just save it. Uh, but the real thing you need to do is publish it. So you've got the preview here. Well, you know, okay, it looks fine. We like it. Let's, how do we get going? So under project info, you're going to want to add your specific project info. So if you want to put, you know, the same icon logo here, you can click that little plus sign and it'll let you add one. I'm going to change the name. And I'm going to just put that it's only for the front camera. It doesn't really matter. So once I do that, I still have to go and do this step of publish lens. Okay, And this is going to then open a browser. And if you're not logged in, it'll need you to log in. OK, and then once this loads up, in my case, I'm submitting a new lens. But in a future case, you might be updating one. Um, so just note that uh, I'm submitting a new one here. And it pulled in my name. And then the icon that I had set. And you can still add a preview here if you'd like. You can add tags. The one thing I would suggest while you're playing with these is just leave them hidden. That way you don't have to get embarrassed when you forgot that it was there. <laughs> um, but yeah, and so you submit the lens. And it's going to congratulate you. And you have this option to go to Manage My Lenses. So this is where you're going to get the link to actually be able to add it. And so it does take it a few moments to show up. You might have to just refresh it there. But it gives you a link that you can copy. So if you click this link icon, um, you can go and use that in Snap Camera. So I'm going to open up Snap Camera. OK, so Snap Camera is the actual app to use lenses in. And I have that copy already, so I'm just going to paste it in here. And it searched and found it. So I can click this. And it will add that lens or select that lens for you. And there you see it's popping up. Now, one thing that's cool about these is there's favorites. So you can have a little favorites menu. So you could add a lens to your favorites. You can do that just by going in here and hitting that star icon here. You can copy a link to it here to send to other people. Uh, you can download the snap code if you're trying to use it on phones and stuff like that. 
But aside from that, there's also hotkeys. And so you can set up a hotkey in here um, to turn the lens on and off. And then as you use that, you can just leave that snap camera selected um, if you wanted to. And talk about it on and off, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now that I've got that configured in here, I've got this turned on. Now let, let me show you in Zoom how you use it. So I'll bring up my Zoom settings here. And currently I have the Blackmagic camera selected still. But instead I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select Snap Camera. And so there it goes. Now that I have that, it's working. Now I'm not sure I can remember. Yeah, that does work universally. Cool. So on my system, this is working universally. You may have to tweak yours a little bit to get that to work as a shortcut, but I can just toggle that on and off. Now you could also use this to make lower thirds if you want to dig in more to the potential of Lens Studio itself. It's got a lot of power there. Um, for more than just the augmented reality stuff that most people know about, it's a nice free tool and you can build something useful with it like this. And so I just have to have snap camera on a computer and I can load this lens in and I've got a nice branded presentation I can do uh, just with my webcam. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot.